Hi, this is Marco Wu from eeprogrammer.com. Uh, in the previous uh, lecture, we have already talked about using body port. We can talk. We have already talked about how to use uh, how to set up a transfer function in MATLAB. So in here, in this lecture, we are going to follow up a little bit. We are trying to use polar, a polar representation of the system. So let's go back to create a transfer function. I have already have the transfer function here. Loom rater, the loom rater. We set it is uh, equal to uh, transfer function. We call it uh, G. So after we set it, once again, the we uh, refer to this transfer function here. So we put this into MATLAB and then create our transfer function. It's the G. So how can we do the polar? Um, in polar port, you need to have many points to create a nice polar port. So, what I'm going to do is, um, I need to have many, well, let's see what is polar. In general, you need to have two input. One is the angle, the other one is the amplitude. It's just this two. So they are they are array. They are so you have like a one D array of a long angle, uh, a, a long angle one D array and a long um, uh, magnitude one D array. So how can we get question? Yes, how can we get the magnitude and phase? Previously, we do the we do the bo uh, body part. We use body. We introduce two things. One is G. Uh, G is the system. W is like the pawn that you um, you create you um, your body part. So previously we say okay, we want W to be many pawns. We set W equal to log space minus three seven and uh, one minute. So it's just talking about from ten to minus three to 10 to the 7, we create 1 million pawn for, uh, for, the, for, for W and we use W in the body part. Is that all we can use in body part? Uh, is that the only function we can use? No. Basically, we can also take out the magnitudes and phase from the system. So, uh, well, you can see in here, magnitude, phase, body, system, W. Okay, so let's do this. I am just going to copy this and then I want to move it. Hold on. So now the it go back here. Okay. Okay. So um what I want. I want this. Mental and face body. Uh, I need to change it back to a small character. The system is G. Uh, it's a small W. Okay, so here we go. We have a magnitude and face in here. It's a big array. Uh, look at dimension. Dimension is one times one times uh, one million of the magnitude. I mean, uh, the magnitude array is not a 1D array, uh, it's not 1D array. If it's just 1D array, it should be 1 times 1 million. You can see in here. So, um, it seems like it is not exactly what we want. How can we do it? How can we put it into the system? Use the polar part. We need to use this to command in here. Basically, extremely simple. We redefine it. We redefine it, making it to be a 1D array. So we originally, the magnitude and phase is more than just a 1D array. Now we redefine it because we know the element is 1 times 1 times uh, 1 million. Well, basically the 1 times 1 is creating a unuseful dimension. So we just redefine it. Okay. So now we have the magnitude and phase is 1D array. 
okay, so the Senate is that is that after I said it, I should, I I can use the polar uh polar port, like face and manatee, am I correct? Um, let's see. Uh, we have the face first, and then manatee. Do the polar. Oh. Okay. What is that? It loves. It loves something ridiculous. Let's see. Why? Do we input something incorrectly? Should it be face first and then. Yep, we have face in radius. Okay, here we go. It should be face in radius. Okay, what do we got in the face? What is the output of the face in the body part? It is quite important, right? We can check. If it is in radius, it should be a small radio. It should not be like 180, something like the crazy number. Uh, okay, so let's see. We do a range, we do a, we do a face, we can check the range of face. The range of face is around 180, so basically it is not in radius. What we should do in the polar pod then? In the polar pod, we should multiply it by pi, divide it by 180. Okay, so let's have a quick look on what is going on. Okay, it's done. Okay, now it loads. Like it is better because like, we know just now our transfer function is an extremely simple transfer function and then it should not look complicated. And that is the answer. So what is that means? It increased from the uh, zero point in here, increase for the omega, increase the omega, the material will increase. And then at some certain point of the omega, it will have the corresponding magnitude. So that, it has the corresponding phase and magnitude. So that is the polar part of the transfer function. So we learn how to use the uh, polar command in this lecture.